Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And Mike. And this 605 All-Star Game is brought to you by Naples Roof Company. Back on the gridiron one last time this school year at Cerritos College for the 46th annual 605 All-Star Game. Lot of Long Beach representatives, Wilson's Tony Lindsay and Zamari Manning, Lakewood quarterback Chris Bell. A couple of other quarterbacks, Hudson Romaine and Dillard O'Cray. O'Cray! Brendan Washington, the wide receiver from Cabrillo, and Jordan's Jalen Rising Barnwell and Marquise McGuire. Love the camera. Two tar babes there, Trayvon Jackson and Andrew Duvet, and the lone St. Anthony representative, Javen Lopez, out there repping the Saints. And gotta love all the stickers they put on these helmets. We go to the east side. Polly's Ray Price, the only player on the East roster, most of them on the West, and these players get turned up. It's really just a great opportunity to have one last game of your high school career. You see all the stickers, all the different teams. It's really a great scene. First play, we have the cough and the hawk, Mike. He hawked it up right there. Jaquan, Jaquan Hawkins from Wilson always fired up, and especially when he can make a game-changing play like falling on that fumble to give the West the ball just on the six-yard line. First play on offense, why not give it to another Bruin, Tony Lindsay, around the end to the Lynn zone, 22 seconds into the game. It's Wilson 7, the East <laughs> team nil, Mike. Just That's right, 11.38 still left in the first quarter, the uh, patented Moore League high hip right there, and on the next offensive possession, another Moore Leaguer, Bell, converts with his third down throw to Jamal Cooper. And then back to the ground, running behind a line anchored inside by David Togapow from Cabrillo in there at center. And there was a lot of room to run early on. Bell going to scamper on his own and pick up a nice gain right here. But Lindsay is the touchdown maker. He put on quite the display right here, dodging, ducking, dipping, diving, and dodging again. And then some other D words probably too. He gets around the left side to Pater, 24 yards, a great run. And it's 14-0 Tony Lindsay over the East squad. <laughs> Off to a great start now with O'Cray in at quarterback. He couldn't get away from this price check right here as Ray Price able to track him down. He played just the first half and twisted his ankle, but still a good showing for him. On the West defense, TJ Mataafa plugging the middle with that big frame, number 55, out of the Cabrillo. And Jordan moving the ball on the outside. First Marquise McGuire. We've seen Deuce Deuce with this move plenty of times once he gets to the sideline. And at receiver, a former Panther Able to get a touch on the ball, Dominique Young, who was injured for his senior year. Good to see him back out on the field. His 6'4 frame could project well, hopefully, at the JC levels. He gets some time. And unfortunately for the West, this pick by Keenan Wright is going to flip the game a little bit. He wasn't able to score as the West able to track him back down, but puts his team in good position. And a couple plays later, quarterback Chris Dentremont, oh my goodness, sacrifices the body. That might be play of the game. More like Chris De Elway right there with the uh, <laughs> sacrificing the body to bring them back within a touchdown. But unfortunately for him, his night took a tough turn when he took the work from Jaquan Hawkins a couple plays later. The unequivocal work. Swah! The Hawk was back and he was fired up about it as the West is going to take a 14-7 lead into the half. And Milliken gets represented with their cheerleaders. That's due respect. Some more and more leaguers got touches in the second half. Washington on the end of round right there. Thank you very much. He didn't get much room to operate, unfortunately. And Andrew Duvet makes his own room to operate, just plowing over you. One of the hardest runners we've seen thus far. And Rising Barnwell started at corner and was effective out there on the island. 23 had a pretty nice night. But the interception of all people goes to Tanoa Seau uh, of Cabrillo. Just happens to be in the right place at the right time. And that's every defensive lineman's dream. Unequivocally, everyone, every D lineman thinks they can be a wide receiver. He showed it right there, and that would turn into points. Cooper would take the end around and get the West close inside the 10 yard line, and to plunge it in for the touchdown, Deontay Dixon. He's a former Compton Tar Babe, along with uh, twin brother Devontae in this game, transferred to Paramount, but we remember their days in the uh, powder blue. And then the do it all Hudson Romaine is uh, Hudson hold maining it right there uh, for the extra point. The East using some trickeration to get back into at a 52-yard touchdown pass, Robert Murtha to Aaron Miner. That brings the West back, or brings the East back within seven points. Trick play on the other end, however, does not work for the team in white. Lindsey, not normally a quarterback, gets picked off here by Austin Blue Steel. That's his second interception of the game. He's going to bring it all the way back. The East starting to build some momentum, and Terrence Martinez is going to score to tie it with just under three minutes remaining, and that's going to take us, Mike, to overtime. So it's college rules for the overtime, not the usual sudden death. So uh, obviously both teams trying to get fired back up. After a missed field goal by the West, the East looking to win it. 
But Javen Lopez there with the interception, high points that ball beautifully and steps out of bounds to send this thing to double overtime. He really had a great game from that safety spot showing off for SA. But Tavi Jimerson scores to put the East up on the first possession of overtime number two. West got to come back and make something happen. Unfortunately, on fourth and long, this pass is going to fall incomplete. That means the East are your comeback winners in double overtime. They take this one. You can see how fired up they are. 28-21. to 21. Ray Price, the lone Long Beach slash more league athlete to win this game. Uh, on the other side, so many great athletes we got to see play one more time. Came up short, but what an exciting football game. Well, because obviously an all-star game like this, it's so much more about the experience than about the win or the loss. And it was certainly great to see all these guys we've been covering for their whole careers one last time in one of our favorite events of the year. Before you know it, the football preview will be back out in print and on the website. Got to stay locked right here at GazetteSports.com for all of the best football coverage in Long Beach.